my studio. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite green to use and it is called Russian Green and it's by Yarka St. Petersburg which is one of my favorite paints. When you buy it in a pan like this it comes wrapped up. These little packages always make me think of candy but I think I'd much rather get a set of paints than a set of chocolates. So I love the Russian green. It's a really intense color and it mixes so well with other colors. I'd really love to show you how I work with it. So here is my well of the Russian green. This little pan is running low. This is actually the second pan that I've gone through. And I just want to show you the deep, intense color as it is. And then let's just take a look. at the color less saturated. So generally when I'm working with a new paint especially, I like to do swatches in the most intense iteration of the color and then also how the color looks when it's more desaturated, when there's less pigment. It's always a good reference for when I'm mixing paint later and in my sketchbooks I have all sorts of swatches. So generally I don't work directly from the pans. I mix my colors. So here I'll show you a bit of that process. One color combination that I really like is the Russian green with a moss green. And this moss green, I actually can't remember what manufacturer that is, if it's Sennelier or if it's Windsor & Newton. So you can see it's less dark and more warm. And that works really well for leaves. Another thing I love about the Russian green is how well it works for mixing really beautiful browns. So I'll often mix it with red. I think this is a matter, a matter lake. So you can see even on the palette, oh, that beautiful intense color. And this is just a mixture of two colors and you can see how beautiful this brown is. And of course, if you mix in other colors, sometimes I'll add some orange to that. And that changes your brown. Although I do have browns on my palette, I usually mix my own. And then I added a bit of Russian green to this red and it makes sort of a brick red beautiful color here I used a couple reds some orange and Russian green and you get this beautiful rust color so I hope that gives you a taste of what Russian green can do 
It's such a versatile color to mix and I hope you'll have a chance to play with it for your own botanicals. Now I want to share a video from my friend Laura who is also a watercolor painter and a teacher on Skillshare. She's going to be talking about and reviewing a new to her color of green from Daniel Smith. Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a watercolor paint by Daniel Smith called Undersea Green. I started out using Windsor and Newton paints, mostly artist quality, and I have branched into using some Daniel Smith colors just because they're pretty widely available in Canada and the US now and they have amazing colors and you can actually buy a sheet that has like a little dot of every single paint color that they have in their line. So that way you can, um, it's like $20 for the whole line of the swatches and then you can try the paints before you buy them because most times they do come in this bigger tube though um, at my local art store they do have a few um, colors in the smaller tubes which is just a little bit less expensive. Um, so I will get right down to it and show you what this looks like. So this is what the undersea green paint looks like on the palette and it is a little bit similar to the Windsor and Newton olive green except for I find the color a little bit darker and deeper um, and I really love how Daniel Smith paints perform. So I'm just going to use my just my square mixing brush here and show you a really dark concentrated swatch and then I'll just show you with a little bit more water how that ends up looking so it is really like an undersea color um, definitely reminds me of like lots of seaweeds that you would see um, and I'm just gonna rinse my brush out one more time so that I can swatch it even lighter so it's a really pretty range on its own and sometimes I find green pigments are not super natural looking unless you add a bit of yellow or blue but I find this one is really great right out of the tube. Um, so I have my plain pure undersea green here and I'm just going to mix it with some Windsor lemon. and show you that. So again, a beautiful color, nice and citrusy. And then another way I really like to use this is mixing it with Payne's Gray. Get a beautiful deep color. Just grabbing some Payne's Gray from my main palette here. So you get this really, really beautiful deep green color. And this is possibly, I could say, similar to Perilene Green with the Windsor & Newton line, but the difference with the undersea green mixed with Payne's Grey is that they're both fairly non-staining greens, or non-staining colors, whereas Perilene Green stains quite a lot, so if you're trying to lift out color, this is a better way to go. All right, I'll show you just a few more mixes as well. I'm going to mix the undersea green with burnt sienna, which is a color I use quite a lot. And I used a mix like this in my recent oak leaf painting that I showed on my Instagram account. And you get, again, a really nice sort of organic greeny brown color, really good for fall leaves and leaves that are changing color. If I wanted to add more burnt sienna to that, I would just get a bit more of a reddish brown green color. So you can get a really nice natural range of colors for botanical painting with the Daniel Smith Undersea Green. So here's an example of two paintings that I have used the undersea green paint in. And some, these are some changing oak leaves and then alder leaves as well. And if you have a look at the painting and then have a look at the swatch card that I've created, you can definitely see 
that there are some similar tones here and so really lovely um, bright transparent color with the Daniel Smith paints so yeah I'm quite happy with them I think I'll keep adding them to my collection so I hope you found this video helpful I hope you enjoy our talk of green today see you next time Thank you.